So we are going to go over in this video how to increase support during a coronary PCI. Um, the first thing, so everything that I start from um, is from prevention. Okay, so how can you prevent from needing to increase the increased support? Because whenever you are increasing the support, there's a chance that there could be a uh, dissection, there could be some form of uh, damage to the blood vessel. So you, there are a few things that can give away. So if you are working, especially so on the PDA, you will need support. Okay, Doesn't matter if it's tortuous or, or not. Tortuosity in a vessel, you will need support. Um, Left circumflex artery, especially if had, it has a bend like this, like red, what we call retroflex uh, artery in a RAO caudal view, you need support, okay? If you're trying to work on distal PDA, left PDA, you will need support. So just, just anticipate uh, when you're going to need the support. And whenever you're going to need the support, this catheter, for RCA is a no-no. If you are used to using this and you think you can use it with any type of guide extension, wonderful. However, my recommendation would be to start using other type of catheters, especially AR type catheters, AL type catheters. And I've made a video somewhere talking about their engagement is different from the JR catheter. So on the left side, the more supportive catheters are EBU catheter. You can use AL catheters. Um, there are also special, specified, special type of catheters like JCL rad catheter that I'm a big fan of. So you need to anticipate that. And if you anticipate that, go with that, okay? Especially if you're doing the intervention in a distal part of the vessel. And I told you various types of vessels where you should be considering this. Uh, you can use pro water or a little bit stiffer wire for support if you are used to using this, wonderful. If you're not, you're using a workhorse wire like run through BMW uh, Elite or uh, something like that. If support is not working, you can put a second wire, okay? This is a poor man's way of giving extra support. Better take a wire which has more um, body to it. And how do you know there's body to a wire. If you hold the wire like this and let it dangle, it will tell you how supportive it is. So if a wire is like this and another wire dangles like this while you're holding it, this wire is more supportive, okay? Um, classical supportive wires are wiggle wire. It's kind of a must for me. I use it a lot. Iron Man, it's a sticky wire or Mailman, uh, BMW heavyweight is a good one. And these wires are usually not very torqueable, but they can give you support. So one of the ways to deal with it, it is that you can put a micro catheter or over the wire balloon over the first wire and then replace them with this wire. On the other hand, you can put another extra wire on the side. Uh, it could be a pro water, could be one of these. Uh, once that is there, hopefully, if it's tortuous vessel, try to use the more floppy wire for crossing different type of balloons uh, or stents. If you are hitting against a stent, um, you can use the more stiffer wire for doing that. So there are different situations where you, you need to do that. Let's say this doesn't work, what do you do? Now you put a second balloon on one of the wires. What it does basically, or you can put a micro catheter, what it does is it either straightens the vessel, if it's a tortuous vessel, but can provide more support to you. Now what you can use is, is and do is that you can use this balloon as an anchor balloon. Now there are two types of anchor balloons. One is, let's say this is the RCA. This is the conus vessel. You can put a balloon in this, wire in this, and inflate that balloon at six atmospheres 
okay not a very high atmosphere like like six to eight atmospheres and then on the other wire try to push the things in okay that's one way the other way is you put it on the same wire okay uh, the 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 wire that is crossing the lesion and you put the anchor balloon on it inflate it to six to eight or maybe even 10, uh, fully opposite, and then push the guide in, okay? Once you push the guide in, you have to be very careful pushing it in. Then you deflate it, move this balloon forward, again inflate it, push the guide in, trying to get to negotiate the first curve. So that is another type of anchor balloon technique that you can use. Of course, all along the way, after putting the second wire, most people where their guide extension present, they can put the guide extension there, okay? Now, there are different type of guide extensions. One of them is uh, Guideliner, Guidezilla, and um, uh, what I use the most is Telescope. It is hydrophilic and it can easily go in, okay? Now, if the guide permits, can also use microcatheter, as I said, uh, on one of the wires to provide the support. And then you can exchange the wire if you want to. Um, I told you how to deep seat the guide. Uh, for the RCA, you have to clock and push over the wire, okay? For the LED, you also have to clock and push. For the circumflex, you have to counter clock and push, okay? So it's a little bit different motion with that. Counter clock and push for the left circumflex artery. That's the only one. Otherwise, you have to do clock and push. Uh, of course, you have to make sure, depending on the anatomy, how to move it. Uh, if nothing like this works, uh, and especially if you have the guide extension available, go with the guide extension. It's easily trackable. I would recommend you not to undersize the guide extension, which means if you're using a seven French guide, do not use a six French guide extension. Okay, higher chances of um, dissection. Use a seven French guide extension. If you're using a six French, don't use a five French guide extension. Use a six French guide extension for that. Uh, higher chances of guide dissection. Um, we can, I can make another video and talk about how to make the guide liner or the guide extension go inside, because that's a totally different topic. And if you need to know about that, please let me know in the comments so that I can make one a video for that. If all of this does not work, then you may need to stop, think about it. If you are able to take things out, you can take things out and exchange the sheet. Use a longer sheet, use a 45 centimeter sheet. If, if you can go from the left side, go from the left radial. If you can go from the femoral axis, go through the femoral axis. Use a larger French catheter, guide catheter, this will give you more support. So left radial has way more support than the right radial. And um, you can use the larger sheets as well. You can use sheetless radial. There's a series of guides called PBU guides, which are hydrophilic guides, uh, get guide catheters. You can put it through the arm or uh, you can use the railroad system, uh, which is a cordless railroad system where basically there's a big, um, large dilator, which you can put in inside a guide catheter and just do a sheetless guide insertion and put a seven French in. So larger guide will give you more, um, more support. There are a few other ways to increase the, your support that mainly includes how to use the guide liner. If you, if you need to, or you want to learn a little bit more about it, let me know. Thank you very much for listening to this. Bye.